Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a first impression review on this foundation. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. First of all, I just want to address the fact that I look bald right now. It's because it's super hot today. It is very humid up here in Queensland. So I picked this foundation up from Mecca Maxima sometime last week. It cost me $38, which is pretty reasonable for a foundation from Mecca. The shade that I got matched to is Bare Nude number 9. They do have really good foundations that have a gold undertone. I've noticed that a lot of other foundations when it comes to my skin tone, because I am very olive yellow in complexion, um, a lot of the time foundations end up looking grey or pink toned on me, but when I did try this on in the store, it looked like my skin, but more even and flawless. So a little on the foundation itself, I'm just going to read what's on the back of the box. It says it's a tone correcting mineral foundation and skincare serum in one. This ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage, a natural finish and the look and feel of beautiful skin while delivering a noticeably brighter, more youthful appearance. Made with the bare minimum ingredients, it's like nothing you've ever felt before. So what I've heard about this foundation is that it is a serum, which means it is quite watery, but a little goes a long way. So as you've seen, this is the box that it comes in, and inside, let me just open it up. This is it right here, so it comes in this package. I'm pretty sure this on the outside is the color of the foundation. It's not the actual product inside, because what I noticed from looking at the other bottles in the store, which I'm sure have been used as well, um, it's not like this is going to disappear, this is just the outside packaging of the foundation. What you see on the bottle is the colour, but it's not the foundation itself showing through the packaging, if that makes sense. I also forgot to mention that this comes with 30 mils of product and it is an SPF of 20, which is pretty good because I always like to have a foundation that provides, um, what's the word? Protection, protection against the sun, but bear in mind that it might not be that great for flash photography. As we all know, um, SPF foundations don't really do well when it comes to flash photography. So once again, just keep that in mind when you are looking at this foundation. It might not look the greatest if you're going out for the night, taking photos, that kind of thing. So on the back of the bottle, it just says that you need to shake it up, which you can hear. If you can hear inside, it's very very liquidy. Today I'm just going to use my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush to apply this to my face. I have to say as well that they did have a specific brush to go with this foundation, but I didn't feel like I really needed it. It was more like a smaller flat top Kabuki with a indented well kind of carved out of the middle. In the store they suggest that you pour the foundation onto that specially designed brush, but since I don't have that brush and I don't want my brush to soak up all the foundation, I'm just going to pour it onto my hand. So that's two drops. As you can see, it's not very much product, but like I said, a little goes a long way. It is very, very, very watery. I look crazy. And then I'm just going to take my Kabuki and blend it in. I love the colour. And I actually didn't put a primer under this. I was going to, but I just realised that I forgot. So I guess we're going without the primer today. <laughs> or actually, I'm going to put primer on this side of my face since I have only put foundation on one side. And I guess we'll see how that holds up. So that is one side of my face done. As you can see, it's really evened out my skin tone and it totally matches my neck which I am super happy about because, like I said, it's so hard for me to find a foundation that really matches my yellow neck because I find that my neck is very olive in complexion compared to my face. My face is like white. Um, I still have a little bit left on my hand and I've already done one half of my face. So I'm very happy with the way it looks. This is a 
medium coverage, low to medium coverage, I would say. Like, I, I can still see my natural skin peeking through. As you can see, a little bit of my blemishes are peeking through. But uh, for me personally, I don't really like a full coverage because I do like my natural skin to show through a little bit. So I'm very happy with the coverage that this has provided so far. But apparently, if you want more, you can add more drops. So one to two drops is a low to medium and two, three to four would be like a more medium to high coverage. So I'm really, really happy with this. And what I'm gonna do now is continue with the other side of my face. So I'm just going to use my trusty old Face of Australia Face Base Primer. If any of you guys have tried the Bare Minerals Primetime Primer, let me know what you think about it because I don't know, I'm skeptical, like I don't want to try anything new that's going to make me break out. So, if you have tried it, let me know if it's good or not, and I will definitely go and investigate further. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'm going to do two drops. Here we go, the other side. is on and I absolutely love how it looks so far it looks exactly like it did when the lady applied it to me in the store so as you can see it has a like bright and dewy kind of finish which I really like in my foundations I'm not totally a fan of the complete matte powdery look but I absolutely love the finish I love the tone that it gives my skin I love that it has a yellow golden undertone I think it's absolutely perfect for my skin type. Also, for those of you who aren't aware, I do naturally have a combination oily skin type. So we'll see how that comes into play throughout the day. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup now and I will be back. So I've just finished doing the rest of my makeup and as you can see, I absolutely love the finish of it. It's honestly amazing. Like I think I really like this foundation for those days where you want some coverage but you don't want it to feel too heavy because I forgot to mention as well that this does not feel like I have anything on my face. It feels very lightweight and um, easy on the skin which is good. So um, I'll have to somehow remember that this is the side without primer and this is the side with primer. I think so far I like the side with primer better but um, that's probably just me because I always wear primer under my makeup. But it is currently 22, 20 to 10 and I'm going to go out and run a couple of errands for the day because there's some things I need to do. So while I'm out and about running around, I'm going to um, document the foundation throughout the day and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have just arrived home from the mall. It is currently 12.40pm, so I've been wearing the foundation for three hours now. And I can say that it's held up really well, however I have spent the majority of my morning in aircon, so that probably plays a role in why it's lasting for so long. But I absolutely love it. I'm seriously obsessed with this colour match. It's absolutely perfect. I absolutely love it. Words cannot describe how much I'm loving this colour for me. But having a closer look at the foundation, I can see that it is looking better on the prime side as opposed to the non-prime side. It's a very subtle, minimal difference, but I can see that on the non-prime side, it is bunching up a little around my mouth and nose, but on the prime side, everything's pretty much stayed put, and I can tell that um, a little bit of my contour has worn away on the non-primed side, so that's something to think about. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it so far. It looks great. It still looks dewy, although, mind you, I think part of that comes down to the fact that it's really hot today, so it's like that dewy glow, but not on purpose kind of dewy glow. It's looking awesome. I can't get over the colour match. It's absolutely perfect for me, and I have nothing but good things to say so far, so I will check back with you guys at the end of the day. Hey guys, I'm back again for my final check-in. It is just before 5 p.m. So I've been wearing the foundation for nearly eight hours now and I can say that it's done pretty good. I'm looking like a really oily mess at the moment, but I think that's just because 
it is extremely hot today so to start off with what I'm gonna do is blot my face because I haven't actually touched up with a powder or anything like that so um, I'm just gonna see how it looks after I've blotted off whether it helps to improve the look of it on my face all right that feels a little better now so as you can see it has helped to take the oil away from my skin and the foundation looks fine as it is. From what I can see it's held up pretty well. I would say again that the primer side has held up better than the non-primer side because I can really see my pores on this side but that's just an issue to do with my skin and not with the foundation. So I think all I have to say about it is that I absolutely love it. I love the finish. I love the colour. For those of you girls who have a yellow undertone like myself, I highly recommend for you to go and check this foundation out. Alright guys, that's the end of this first impression video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you are wanting to try it, I suggest you go into the store and try it out because it's honestly amazing. I think this product will last you a long time as well because as you saw, a little goes a long way. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Also comment down below and let me know if you have tried this foundation before and your thoughts and opinions on it. And I also want to know whether any of you have tried the uh, Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer because I really want to get that but I'm not sure whether it's anything special worth putting my money into because I know there's a lot of primers that do similar things. So if you have tried the Bare Minerals Primer, let me know what you think about it down below. As always, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.